Hi there, it's Douglas from Dawn's Photo on Main Street in Winnipeg. Today we'll be showing you how to order photos off of our online photo system through the Dawn's Photo website. So we'll start by going to dawnsphoto.com. We'll click on Photo Lab and we'll select all prints. This will open up a new tab for Dawn's Photo Print Refinery. And this will allow you to choose between matte and glossy prints, as well as the metallic paper or the Instagram square photos as well as fine art or collage prints. And you can even choose larger sizes if you wanted to do uh, poster sizes. But today we'll be sticking with the matte prints up to 12 by 36. I've yet to upload some photos, so I'll click on upload photos so that we know what we're choosing. I'm gonna do it from my computer. The photos I have I know are fairly large, so normally I would suggest original size, but for speed, we're gonna do medium size. We'll add photos and I'm going to select a few of them here. There we go, and we'll click open. And so we see the size being shifted down a bit because I'm not planning to do large prints and that'll help with the upload speed because I am doing this over Wi-Fi. If you're doing it from home, you've got some time, I'd always suggest doing the original size. Having the photos in an easy to find place, such as your desktop, will make uploading or finding the photos you want to do a lot easier, uh, rather than having to go through a whole pile of photos in different spots on your hard drive. Alright, so the five photos that I had selected, they are stock photos, have been uploaded. And to select your prints, you can click on the first one, come over to the right side, and select the size that you want to do. Now it'll also confirm that it's 4x6 matte prints and they're 39 cents each at this point. So I can click on that and it now lists above it that I've got one 4x6 matte print. If I wanted to do more than one, I can click the plus button multiple times. Alright, and from here if you have a bunch of photos that you wanted to do all at once, you can highlight them with the orange box and you can do multiple photos at once. Let's say that you didn't want two photos, you can come back and select that one. It will be highlighted with the orange box again and we can do the minus and it will remove it or down to one of everything. I'm happy with getting one of everything so I can go to checkout. Now here this is where it will show the crop. So this first photo was a square print, so I can leave it as a rectangle here, or I can come up to this box and choose fit to print. So it won't be cropped, but then we'll end up with white borders on it. So it's still the square image, four inches, but we end up with a white border on the sides. Now this is an all or nothing thing, so you may have to place a couple of orders. One for everything that needs to be fit to page if you want to keep it that four inch uh, height and one for the crop because something like this photo I would want cropped in. I wouldn't want this part at the top here and this one has a slight white border along the sides as well. So for now we'll do full bleed, it'll crop in, it'll show what the crop is like and then we can choose from there where everything is. So let's leave this one up like that and we can click next. So it'll give us a quick summary about the cart, what we've got ordered. If everything looks good and the way you want it, it'll show with the crops. We can hit checkout. Here is where you can add borders. Please be aware that the borders is not going to shrink the photo down to have the border all around. It's actually an overlay. So if you have something near the edge of the photo, the border will cover that or will cut into it. If there's any promotions on here, this is where you would put in the promo code. There's nothing for 4x6s at the moment, so I'm going to hit continue or next. If you want the order shipped, you can have it shipped directly to you. You can also choose to pick up in store. I am at the Main Street location, uh, so that's what I will select. That's in Winnipeg here. From here, you fill out all your billing information, though nothing's actually charged. This is more for your account. Once you've done that, you can review your order. So I will fill this out for a moment here. All right, so I will choose pay in store. So I'll pay at the till and on pickup. This is just an overview showing that I'm getting five four by six prints on matte paper. I'm picking up at the Don's Photo Winnipeg Main Street location. 
and it's got all my information and the proper number to reach me at uh, for when the order is done so that I know to pick it up. If everything is looking good and all your information is correct, you can hit place order. If anything does need to be changed, you can come into here and click change. It'll take you to that option again. And then when you do next, it'll take you to the end where you can place the order one more time or place the order again. I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, by all means, reach out to your local Don's Photo and we'll be happy to give you instruction over the phone.